Pinchley. Oh, what the devil is that ghastly noise? It's me, Eliza Pinchley. You are a flower, little baby. Excuse me, what I think you mean to say is, would I like a flower? Heavens, you don't so much speak the language as chew on it and spit it out. Gone. what's wrong with the way I talk? <laughs> Everything. Look, here's a shiny sixpence if you keep your mouth shut and go away. Eh. Honey, I know the drunken clam was your bar, but maybe you and your friends can find somewhere else to act like idiots. Yeah, I guess you're right. You know why I married you, Lois? It's not just a rack or a caboose. It's that big, sexy brain of yours. Oh. <laughs> oh. Stewie, look. It's an invitation to little Eliza's birthday party. You mean that horrid girl who talks like a scullery maid? I didn't realize she'd been born. I assumed she'd simply congealed in a gutter somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna RSVP right now. Oh, splendid. An entire afternoon of her ers and ahs and half a pound of apony rice. God, why can't the English teach their children how to speak? Well, why don't you teach her? Unless you don't think you're up to it. Oh, yes, this is the part where I'm supposed to say, Oh, I am so up to it. <laughs> well, I am. I accept your challenge. At the celebration of her birthday, I shall pass that gutter snipe off as a lady. And what are the stakes of this wager? Why don't you shut up for about a week? Very well. And if I win? Well, I, I wasn't betting. Why don't you just shut up for about a week? You're on! No, no, no! If you're ever going to be a lady, you must learn to speak like one. Now try it again. The life of the wife is ended by the knife. The life of the wife. No, 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 not life. Life, life! That's what I said! Life! Now listen to me, you tin-eared piece of baggage. We've got five days left, and I'll not lose my wager. Now repeat after me. Hello, mother. Have you hidden my hatchet? Hello, mother. Have you eaten my hatchet? Oh, God, no. It's an H sound, you moron. H. Ha, 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 ha. Ew, your breath smells like kitty litter. I was curious. Uh, once again, here is how it should sound. How do you do? And here's how you sound. Now try it again. How do you do? What did you say? The life of the wife is ended by the knife. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. The life of the wife is ended by the knife. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. Now what ends her wretched life? The knife, the knife. And where's that bloody knife? In the wife, in the wife. The life of, of the, the wife. wife. Hello, so nice to see you. There he is. All right, we need to search the house for evidence, but one of us is going to have to distract Nigel. Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't. Well, what about Loretta? Nigel looks like he's down with the swirl. Oh, <laughs> there you are, Lois. Shall I give you the grand tour and show you my <clears throat> private quarters? I'd love to. I must say, you look absolutely... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Eliza Pinchley. Psst, you, Dogbert, down here, get a front row seat for this one. How kind of you all to come. Oh, uh, magnificent. I say, old sport, why don't you pull your face from your own loins and bury it into some humble pie? Oh, bloody hell! I've gone and wet myself. Don't give me that smug look. Fine. Well, you have extra sensitive hearing. Hear this. I'm telling. I, no, no, I, I said vacuum. Dear Stewie, I want you to know that I blame my father's death and my incarceration in this hellhole entirely on your awful mother. If it takes the rest of my life, I shall see that she suffers a slow and painful death. Eliza. <laughs> Excellent. Here, have... Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around.